Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the video. So today, I have a few surprises for you guys. So if you remember last video, which was about a week ago, um, we, we, um, got that pink, um, 1997 Ford OBS, I think, yeah, and we get the pink one, and I'll show you that in a minute, we, we have it done, and then, like, five videos back, um, we bought a Ford F-350, I still haven't done anything with it, so, I think, I, I have, a, I have an idea for it now, but, so, in here, I just put this out on display, the camper and the truck, someone can buy it if they want to, if not, it's just for show, and then, still got the Overkill, Summit, Can-Am, Can-Am, Cummins, Cummins. So, thinking, we need, we really need to buy a semi. So, I, I thought, let's just, um, get in the Duramax and go pick a up. Why not? Because we need a semi for one to haul around the Bloodhound, our red monster 3500 ram and I also put up a few flags so oh shoot okay so I really don't know you know what whatever I'll just take this down and I'll haul it back so I already bought the semi at the shop so I'll see you guys in the game a different trailer because that trailer doesn't have ramps I forgot about that so we're gonna have to get one of these Okay. Okay. Um, I have to shoot. I have to get in the Chevy and load this up on the trailer here. So I will see you guys when we get back to the shop. Okay, so we are rolling up to the shop. We got crazy setup. It's all green. Green truck, green trailer, green truck. Got a whole setup. So, uh, yes. I have to show you guys the truck that I've been working on and yeah. Okay, 
to shut off the truck lights. Got to turn them off. Okay. So. Okay. This truck, it's crazy how it didn't even take them that long to make. This is crazy. So there's the F three fifty. And this is this is just crazy. It's mind blowing. So they stretched the frame and they took another Ford OBS um, that they were parting out and they just took the cab and they just took the back half of it. So I mean, it looks like it's stock. It looks so good. So it's still the same engine, but it's three row. So, I mean, you can kind of see in the back where they added on, where that lip is, or a little wall or whatever. But I think they did a really good job. I don't know, I might even just have to keep this one for myself. This one's too nice. Think? I don't know what I'm gonna do this one yet. I think I'm gonna go put it in the showroom. I'm gonna go put it in the showroom. much stuff here. I need to organize this place. So we have to go pick up a few things from the. Well, I gotta go pick up some things from the store. I'm gonna go pick that up right now. Oh. Okay. I will. What are they? Okay, I will see you guys when we get back to the shop with our thing. Okay, we're back and I got to tell you guys, I was having someone come and put up a gate and a bridge and put like a little river or moat or whatever you want to call it underneath. So. And I also had them redo the driveway down there so we can park all of our trucks out front. So this would be the only entrance. I still have to close it off a little bit farther down there. This is what we picked up. We picked up a 2017, I think it is, Jayco Sesma. I think that's what it's called, Jayco Sesma. Um, but this bridge is rated for for 50,000 pounds, I don't know it doesn't look like it, but it is, it's steel, all steel underneath, it's just wood on the top, just for looks, but I added a driveway coming back this way, around this shop, so that I can come back here with the uh, work trucks and stuff, and I to, what? Oh. and I'd have to go through the dealership with So, I bought this for the truck that we are making, the F-350, 
350, that is going to be enough 450. So, this is just going to sit on the trailer back here for at least another week until we can get it. So, I think it's time to organize the shop. Okay, so I'm going to put projects for later, like this Hummer. I'm going to put that in here. And I'm going to eventually put two 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 post lifts in here in here and then I'm gonna pull one why can't I open this what the heck anyways I'm gonna put two two post lifts in, lifts in here and I'm gonna put two four post lifts in here okay what the heck why can I not open these doors I'm gonna put two four post lifts in here I'm going to put one right here, and one over top of this bay. So, okay, so come in here and open this up. Or, no, why am I opening this? I just want this open. But anyways, I'm going to put two four post lifts in there, and two two post lifts in there. After this, I just gotta move the semi, and then we're gonna be good. This right here. Okay, guys, so it's been about a week since I've talked to you guys last, and the F450 is finally done. So, here it is. Let me lower it down so you guys can see it. So, we slapped a ranch hand bumper on it. Um, I got all new axles for it. Put duels on it. Um, put a new engine in it. At 450 now, 6.7 liter power stroke. Um, we added cab lights. I think, I don't believe, that, I don't think they were on there before. They might have been, I don't remember. We added toolbox, magnum, low pro rack. We added gooseneck, rear hitch. So, I'm just going to pull this out here. Wait. Okay, ready. Okay, so, I haven't decided yet. I might keep this truck. And I also might sell it, but for right now, I'm just going to hook it up to this trailer. Okay, so, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.